Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I received another inquiry from my parents. Again, this is about emergency lighting. I created a video before about the emergency lighting design guide and if you want to see it again, go and check the link below to watch it again. But this time, this is a very particular question where you cannot find it in the standard because the standard mentions a little bit about this area. So I would like to clarify this one to you, everybody, so everybody will understand it. And if you have comments or suggestions, if, and if my analysis is correct or wrong, just let me know and please leave a comment below. Okay, so the question of my client is, um, what if the area is uh, smaller than 60 square meters? Does it necessary to provide uh, emergency lighting or not? Okay, he asked me that question because based on the standard, actually this is a UK standard, that for escape area, the, the area um, more than 60 square meters, we need to provide um, emergency lighting lux value of uh, 0.5. Yes, and there's some uh, other technical descriptions here. Uh, including the glares and the maximum and minimum hours of that one it it is mentioned in the standard about the great the size which is uh, more than 60 square meters and he asked me what if it's less than square meter do we really need to provide emergency lighting because most of our projects are less than square uh, 60 square meters and I always put um, emergency lighting on that one and it's always usually minimum of one lux and he asked me where did I get that one because it should not we should not put emergency light if it's less than 60 square meter and then I mentioned to him that the standard did not mention about not putting any emergency luminaire if it's less than square uh, 60 square meters because it's obvious that if it's a uh, um, working environment or there are tasks on the room then it should have an emergency light uh, for example it's an office space or office room even if it's less than 60 square meters there should have an emergency light a standby emergency light on that area or on that room because somebody is there working on that room if it's a storage area or nobody stays there for a lot very long time then we don't need to put any emergency light on that one but i mentioned to him if if it's a working area or a working room then it's important to put an emergency light even if it's less than 60 square meters and then i checked the standard this is the uh, cbc lg12 i read it and then i i really this it did not mention anything about the uh, less than 60 square meters but what I got is something like this it's mentioned about how important the standby lighting for every room so here in this section 3.5 um, it is mentioned that in areas or places where a continuous operation is required during the failure of the supply of the normal lighting then standby lighting should be installed this system should provide adequate illumination for the visual task as recommended in the SLL code for lighting. And then if the standby lighting is used for escape lighting, then the escape lighting part should be segregated from the rest of the system and should conform to the rules applied to emergency lighting systems. So, for example, one of your luminaire is used for normal lighting at the same time for emergency lighting, then you need to make sure that uh, that luminaire can um, accommodate the required emergency uh, requirement for that room and I always do like one lux minimum for every room and then I also checked here in the blog there is what we called the yeah aside from the sp standby lighting this is what we call the open area lighting yeah this one it's mentioned that the open area lighting in some countries it is called the anti-panic lighting so this is called anti-panic lighting it ensures that there is sufficient illumination to allow the occupants of a building to reach a place where an escape route can be identified 
So even if it's less than 60 square meters, at least there is an anti-panic lighting to provide in every room. And that is, wh that is why I always make sure that at least there is one lux minimum for every room, even if it's less than 60 square meters. And the other one here, because that one is from UK standard or European standards, I have one here. It's um, for the, from the Illuminating Engineering Society or IES. It's from um, North America. So it mentions about the working spaces for visual task. Yeah, so they mention the foot candle value for every room here. So it depends on the country that you are working on. So the summary of this video is about if it's really necessary to have an emergency light in a very small area like less than 60 square meter and my answer is yes it should have it should have especially if it's a working area or there is uh, somebody is working on that room okay it's very important for the people to have emergency light immediately after the power failure Okay, so that's it for now. And if you want to learn more about Emergency Lighting Design Guide, go and visit my Udemy course. It's all about emergency lighting design techniques. And if you want to know more uh, of lighting design techniques, visit my uh, website www.enrocolightingdesign.com or of course subscribe in this YouTube channel and yeah, to get more free video tutorials. So see you again on the next video. Bye!